We're building the Sandhawk Sustainer rocket that's going to go on the Terrier booster to be a two-stage rocket. It's going to be a high-power rocket and it's controlled by electronics. And in this episode, we're going to continue building the electronics bay and getting it ready to go onto the rocket. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Um, in our last episode, we had glued this ring on, and now it's nice and dry. Um, it's been overnight, so it's really good and dry. Um, our next step here is to glue this ring into place, and I also want to reinforce this. Um, this part right here is going to get hit with the ejection charge blast, so I want to cover that with epoxy, and for that I'm using the Fix-It Epoxy Clay. It's an equal glob of each side, and I've already pre-mixed it up here. Um, so what I want to do is to flatten it out and then to cover this, and it doesn't have to be very thick. Um, I just want to get it protected. This stuff, epoxy is pretty good at, at protecting um, stuff like this. So I'm just going to smash it down. Just cover the whole thing like that. And I'll probably have a little extra, which is fine. Um, I'm going to use that here in just a second. And then on this side here, Tear it off like that. Um, and I forgot one thing. Um, so I'm just pushing it on there. I want to get like an even coat. I don't want to add too much weight. I just, for me, I just don't like adding a lot of weight. And epoxy adds a lot of weight. Okay, just like that. Um, now this ring right here gets glued onto this tube eight and three-eighths of an inch back from this ring here. So I'll just measure that. Okay, and that's the, the back edge right here. So when this ring gets glued on, what I need to do is to orient that little slot there with the slots down here, because that's going to be for our um, the straw, which is right here. Um, this I made in the last episode. Now, if your straw doesn't fit in the hole, don't worry. Just cut the hole larger. Um, the ring, even if it if it snaps all the way through like this one did, will still glue into place. Um, and then the same with these holes on this side. So we're going to slide these through. Um, so now my shock cord is kind of in the way on this one right here. So I'm going to need to... Oh, there it goes. Oh, and then I got my glove stuck in there. Okay, so now this ring right or this notch right here, I'm gonna have to get a little file and file that because the way the laser cutter cut it, um, it's correct on the back side but not on the front side. So I'm gonna pause here, get a little file, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've got a couple of files here. Um, so I'll just move this out of the way and then just file that. I could go a little bit more.
Okay. Um, now you can double check it to make sure that it will go into the tube. Okay, it goes in just fine. Now, I want to glue this ring into place. Now this tube here, um, if you haven't already done so, um, it should be about 11 and 3 quarters inches long. Um, so go ahead and cut that um, tube. And here's my mark right here. Like that. So I'm going to glue right here. Make sure that this is straight right there. Now this tube is kind of floating a little bit. That's okay because it's going to get glued against the wall, the inside wall of the tube. Uh, but I do want to put a fillet on both sides. And I'll also put a fillet down here over the shock cord. Hold that in place too. Yeah, might as well put a little bit of glue on that straw where it comes out to hold that in place. Doesn't look pretty, but that's okay because this is all going to go on the inside of the tube and you won't see it. Okay, now this part right here, I want to um, just tack it down with super glue. And I'm going to use thin super glue for that. And it's also going to stiffen up the paper, which is totally fine. Super glue is click kicking off. Um, okay, and once that super glue is kicked off, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut this tube at, to conform to the. Um, to this, to the plywood there. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Now, this part of the tube under here is also going to take a hit from the ejection charge. So this leftover epoxy clay, I'm going to take that and kind of wrap that around there to give that a little extra protection on the inside. Even just a little bit will help. And it probably, you probably won't have any problems, but you know, might as well be sure. And I can only be around one side because this side is going to be flush up against the um, the tube. So I'm just kind of smashing it in around it like that. And any 
excess epoxy and just reinforce it. So if you look from this side, I'm pretty covered. I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be an issue. Okay, so this is now ready to be installed inside the rocket. Uh, I'm just going to let this epoxy harden up and let, let this glue dry. Um, while, while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the tube ready. And for that, we're going to need this pattern sheet right here. And this is the cover. And we're going to cut this out of the paper. You're going to print it out and then cut it out. And then spray the back side with the spray mount so that you can remove it later. Um, and we're going to glue that or attach that to the body tube where it's supposed to go. Um, so first we need to draw a line down there. And for that I have an angle. Um, and I'm going to put it in line with one of the fin slots. It really doesn't matter too much. but Okay, and then it's positioned 15 inches from the back edge of the tube. So I'm just going to take my ruler and mark 15 inches. Is that right? Can't be right. Maybe it is right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It just seems so far forward. I mean, I, I only have about that much room up here at the top for my parachute, so there's not going to be a lot of room inside here. All right, so I want to extend that line a little bit longer here, just in case you probably can't have a hard time seeing it. That's my center line. That's my 15 inch mark right here. So that's the edge. And this edge with the hole in it goes right there. That hole there is where our, our screw eye is going to go, our screw, to hold it down. Okay, so now I want to cut along this line and, and remove that section, and that's our cover. Um, I'm going to start by poking a hole right there so I know where my, my hole is going to go. And this hole I'll just drill out later, but I just want to mark it. So I'm just going to put a, a hole, you know, a little tick mark right there. All right, and now I'm going to cut this cover out. Um, and now the trick to this is we don't want to go straight down on the edges. We want to go in at an angle. Um, what that does is it's going to give us a little shelf so that when we set the cover on, it just doesn't fall all the way through. Um, the exception is here at the front. Because we're going to create a little lip on the front, um, that little lip has to go under this tube, catch under there. Um, but then the sides over here in the back, we would want it to just sit down and so it doesn't fall all the way through. Okay, so I'll cut this edge first. And I'm going to just use light passes to get it started. And this is a thick tube, so it's not going to be easy going. So start with a hot, sharp hobby knife. Okay, so there's my front and on my side. I'm going to use a, this here to kind of help me. See, I'm not going in straight. I'm not, I'm not perpendicular to the tube. I'm at an angle.
Okay, and this one here. This is going to be the hardest one here because I can't go straight down. I want to come in at an angle. But first, I'm going to just kind of score the paper. And now I'm kind of tilted at a little angle like this. And I'm going to come in like this. Okay, now if you look closely, you can see that beveled side. And then when I drop my cover on, I gouged myself a little bit there. Not myself, the cover. <laughs> uh, but you can see that the cover fits on and it doesn't fall through, um, which is nice. Um, so now we have our cover ready to go. And we're going to put in a little latch right there so that, that it goes underneath, locks that down so that it, it can't pop up. Um, and then this will hold this end down so now that it can't pop up like that. So uh, I can get that ready to go, but I'm going to need a coupler tube and I'll do that in the next episode. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. We're building the Terrier Sandhawk, and this is the Sandhawk part. Um, in our next episode, we're going to uh, finish the cover, and hopefully the uh, glue will be dry over here where I can slide this in and glue it into place. So until then, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.